appreciate it. <laughs> uh, welcome, everyone. Exciting time to be back in the rink. We think training camp is going to be really exciting. There's a lot of jobs up for grabs, a lot of players to battle out for them and, and try and earn a spot on the opening day roster. From an organizational standpoint, we continue to build this as a team. We're not looking to any one player or prospect as a solution. We need to build a whole team of contributors. From a leadership and a former leadership perspective, we're not going to have a captain this year. A little bit of it is just out of respect for Jonathan. The other part is not to put that pressure on, on someone else. In the end, the players have to have their own leaders and, and establish that, and, and that's the opportunity to figure out who those next leaders or leader will be. You know, we're looking for the collective to find that leadership capability, and, and we're looking for everyone to, to step up as we enter the year. So really excited to be back. Happy to have everyone back covering the team and open to any questions you might have. The Chicago Blackhawks spent their summer selecting 11 picks in the 2023 NHL Draft, trading for veteran leadership, adding depth and free agency, and evaluating prospects' development. And as training camp begins, it's time to integrate the group together. I'm extremely excited about the young group. I'm very confident. Just control what you can control. Attitude and effort. Whether it's here at the rink, in the gym, just put your best foot forward, do what you have to do to make the best impression, not only with the staff, with management, but in the community as well. We think training camp's gonna be really exciting. We've got a lot of candidates for, for a couple spots, and, and so it'll be exciting to see players battle it out. We'd really like to see development from the young players, getting used to the NHL level, taking a step at the NHL level, and there's jobs to be won, and so we'll, we'll see how, how that goes in training camp. Camp serves different purposes for different players. For the veterans, it's a chance to shake off the rust, while many others will use the next two weeks trying to secure a spot on the NHL roster. days left to finalize the opening night roster, many prospects will continue developing in the minors while a handful of hopefuls remain in Chicago. Where is it? Where is it? Do you see it? Do you see it? No. Do you see it? That's the fun of it. I didn't see it. Is it that thing? No. No. Don't tell me. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, see? <laughs> Isn't that great? That's really good. I'm ready to go. Like I said, I think I'm, I'm feeling confident. Um, you know, for, for myself, uh, I want to make the team. I think anything less than that is, um, you know, isn't isn't going to meet my expectations. So that's, yeah, that's kind of my mindset going in. What I noticed from Alex is confidence level. He took his instructions well last year. Go down and play a full year in Rockford, play the big minutes, become a top defenseman in the American League and, and excel yourself. And he did all of that. I thought last year went really well. I think you, you know, you took all the instruction that we we had given to you. Uh, you played big minutes. You played against all the best lines, and you just kept getting better and better and better. I, I don't think there's too much to talk through here. I think you're ready to take that next step. Up front, Lucas Reichel did everything we asked of him last year. He's an NHL-ready player. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. All right. Good. Obviously, getting ready to get going here, but um, a year ago we had a tough conversation, right? Yeah. Go down to go down to Rockford, and um, you know we asked you to put in some serious work down there, and you did that. Things happen fast, but you're fast, so you fit the mold. So 
you know, you deserve to be here, so make the most of it. And we need you to do that. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Congrats, Congrats, man. All right. yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. It was almost my goal playing in the NHL. I kind of had in my head that it, that's going to be the year, so like I said, I'm ready for it. With Kevin, he's a big piece. We really believe in him, and so we're just going to make sure that we set course that is going to put him in the best position long term to be the player we think he can be. We're going to get get the family into yeah. the pit, and so we'll uh, make sure they're they're there. But um, you know, I think you've had a you've had a great camp. I know there's a lot of questions, a lot of people kind of. You know, the microscope has been on you a little bit. I'm sure you felt that, but I uh, thought you handled it very well. And, and you know, you've earned this. It's not, we're not just giving it to you. I think you've Thank you. It, so. yeah. We've been impressed. I think, um, you know, we're, we're excited with obviously how you played at the end of the year, but you never really know how that, you know, process is going to go when someone turns pro. And I thought it's been seamless for you. We're excited to have you break camp with us here. You're gonna, you know, be with the, the team as we go on the on the road trip, and um, you know, that's to start. I think now it's just about maintaining a level of play. Keep it simple as a defenseman, and use your skating ability. Be aggressive early defensively, right? If you get the puck back, and use your skating ability. Again. Simple, simple process, yeah, simple right? Process, yeah. Awesome. Congrats, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. But for one player, his status on the Blackhawks roster was never in question. The best thing about Connor is he just wants to be one of the guys treated the same. And that's, I think, the best way for a coach to handle him is treat him the same. You did a shot in practice today. You got it off your stick and you zipped it. What you gotta do? I know, I got to shoot. Shoot a little more, and the goalies will be like, holy f what's he going to do now? Then you can make it. Because you got moves. Dude. They're not really working though. So quick, you got a yeah. quick release. So once you get it, go off your screen. All he cares about is being on the ice and being a hockey player. What? We curl like that? Yeah. You're supposed to, I think. It's okay. it's His standards are high, and so you know he's hard on himself. And but that's why he's he's at the level he's at at such a young age. Man. Determined to earn his roster spot, Connor Bedard continues to work on his game. Until he finds himself alone on the practice rink. I met his mom and sister in the summer and they were gonna move into the same apartment building I was in and his mom like, well, yeah, we don't wanna get too far ahead and we, he's gotta make the team. And I kinda <laughs> looked at her and I said, I think you can look at If you guys can use that mic to have a lot of swears. The thing about training camp is it's only for the opening day. And just because you make opening day doesn't necessarily grant you 82 games in the NHL. We'll have a good mix of youth and, and veterans, so it'll be really important for our development to have those two come together. We're starting anew, but we still have to surround them with good veterans. So I think Seth getting some tenure in the league and, and Murph, and they, they've been here for a few years, along with you know Nick Felinos, Corey Perry's. You surround those players with really good veterans, and they become leaders you know, in their own way. When I came in the Ottawa Senators, I was a young kid by a, a lot, like almost close to 20 years. You know, and just the way they made you feel, like they, they really genuinely brought me into the group. They make you understand too that the, the pro game and understanding what it is to be a pro, showing up every day. I remember Alfie, I had a really good game one game, and the next day at practice, I, you know, was riding high, so you're kind of lackadaisical in some things, and he snapped me right back into it. He said, hey, one good game doesn't make a career, and so you start to learn, like, okay, you got to do it over and over again. Nick Felino is such a big personality. 
he's asking questions in the video sessions and on the bench and Corey Perry on the bench. He's watching everything that's going on. Coming up to you and asking, hey, is there anybody you need me to spend some more time with or key on that I can help? They're at that point in their career where it doesn't affect their game. They go out and they're pros and they do their job, but they can also help someone else doing their job. What have you thought of Connor these last couple of days? Uh, I think you guys saw what he can do. Um, you know, he's uh, he's a special player. There's going to be some bumps there, uh, along the way, but if he needs something, he can lean on us, and, and we've told him that. Having played for five teams in six seasons, Corey Perry is no stranger to adjusting to a new city. We came in early August, and it was a good time for me just to figure out the lay of the land and get settled in with his hockey, with his school. Known as a pest on the ice, the family man has a softer side off the ice. Oh yeah, Tony. Well, yeah, I saw him when I fell on the jumbo chair. Oh, you did? The team's been unbelievable. They welcomed us new guys with open arms, and I had Griffin at the, at the rink with me for a couple weeks before actually his school started. And, it, you know, they, they didn't mind at all. They loved the kids being around. I always said I wanted my kids to, to be a part of that and, and show them, you know, this is what Dad does. Yeah, we gotta get your shoes on there, monkey. Okay, okay. Today, he's dropping his son off at practice and saying goodbye before an 11 day road trip. It, it definitely is a little challenging because you want to be a part of his life and his growing up experience and, and be there for, for every little step. You know, obviously, with our job, yeah, being on the road and being away for. 10, 12 days at a time. Luckily with technology now, we get to use the iPad or the phone and, and watch his games or his practice, so. What's your name? What are you doing? Griffin, Griffin Perry. Griffin Perry. All right. Okay. I love you. I'll see you in a couple days. I'm gone for a little bit, eh? Two weeks? All right, 10, 10 or 11 days. What's okay. your name, guys? It never gets easier. We have our little handshake and you know, before before I leave every time. And that's how he knows that, you know, I'll be back. Ow! <laughs> Ow! As the Blackhawks embark on their first trip of the season, there are a number of new faces on the plane. For some players, this trip is business as usual. But for others, the pressure only continues to grow. A player who seems destined for stardom is about to make his much anticipated NHL debut. Connor Bedard, obviously. One of the most hyped players to come into the National Hockey League. From North Vancouver, Canada, Connor Bedard. Yay! His idol is Sidney Crosby. His life will never be the same after tonight. How do you mean? How much pressure? How will you measure your own success tonight in your NHL debut? Um, you know, I'm just going to go out and play and, and try to be try to be the best version of myself, not try to be anyone else. How'd you sleep last night? Like a baby. That's good. <laughs> so. I can't remember the last time I was this jazzed up for a season opener. I do think it's because it's the Pittsburgh Penguins. They just missed the playoffs for the first time in 17 years. Sid is back with a new cast and they're reloaded. But the fact that Connor Bedard is going up against his childhood idol, Sidney Crosby, in the first game of his career is such a special opportunity. It's certainly unlike anything I've ever seen covering sports, media, and especially during my time with the Blackhawks. I came in and there was certainly plenty of star power on the team with Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, but this definitely feels different. And I think one thing that has been the most impressive to me about Connor Bedard is, is how his reputation and his aura has transcended just the world of hockey. The start of a new era in Chicago and perhaps in the National Hockey League as well. Bedard and Crosby about to take the opening face-off in a moment Connor Bedard has been dreaming about for a long time. Hey Sid, welcome back for another season. Connor, welcome to the NHL, man. Thank you. Okay guys, it's showtime. Let's have a great game. Hey, 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 hey. Played back to the point to Pedersen. A wrister through a crowd. 
Here's Bedard. I said, keep shooting here. Oh, good try. You're right, maybe Fed's goal, that's it. Put it over to left tank for the right force. He fires. That looks like it went in the net. That's it. My boys keep shooting the puck. Right back at him here. Right back at him. Johnson pitch for it down by the veteran Chad Ruedel. Oh, Brook, Brook. Gets it across and shoots and scores. Hey, stick with it. Hey, stick with it, guys. He put it on that rebound goal. Yeah. Let's go. Ryan Donato. Let's play hard, fast defense. All right, I know it's, it's uh, kind of a, a roundabout statement, but that's what we got to do. And we got to go through sticks, through bodies. We can't be uh, soft on our sticks trying to trying to get the next play. We got to finish that play, and someone else will pick up that puck. Oh yeah. Hey, oh, Good job, good job. That's a great job on the face off there. That's it, move your feet. Get that puck, you gotta move your feet tonight. Skate, skate, skate. Now in front of the net, Gutman fires, he scores! Paul Gutman takes yeah. a perfect pass. Oh, good pass. <laughs> great little soft spot. Dickie, you guys ready on the fly, Dickie? Tries to speed the other way. Perry trying to catch up with him. Deflects on Crosby, and they score! The puck went right to Dickinson, and Chicago has the lead. Fire, he just missed an S. Loose puck down foot, Perry. To Felino in front, he shoots, he scores! It's an empty net goal, and the Blackhawks lead the Penguins 4-2. to two. Yeah. Yeah. better than playing in the NHL than winning in the NHL. And you guys all deserve that tonight. So great job, but you know what? We're going to do it again tomorrow. All right? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously being down two and, and coming back like we did, I think it's it's awesome for our group. And, you know, I think you uh, remember it with a little better taste in your mouth when you, yeah, when you win. Yeah, we belts. We got to change this year. Boys, it was hell of a win. Uh, <laughs> guys stuck with it. We knew it was going to take the full game. We talked about it. The guys stuck through on the bench and Worked for each other. Big first ones, Vedz, of course, first uh, game. Fliggy, sickle. And uh, but some, the amount of backdoor saves is pretty oh, big. Oh, <laughs> what a battle, boys. For the young guys, congrats on the first win. Let's get it, uh, let's get it done tomorrow again. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago Blackhawks square off with the reigning President's Trophy winning Boston Bruins tonight after taking a spirited win out of Pittsburgh last night, all within about 26 hours. You know what's better than your first game? Your second game. Hey, Corch, Bezzy. Come on, fellas. Talk, talk. Stick down. Put out towards the screen. Jump it up, get Jeff Jones with a huge hit. Strong plays, boys. There it is, boys. We're taking it to him. That was steal by Hall. Well, the former Bruin with a quality come chance. On, come on, Tim, he's not going to be a factor tonight, boys. At the count of Bernard, over to Bruin line. Drop past Donato to Bernard. Bottom of the right circle. Tough angle shot. Save made. Rebound. He scores! Connor Bernard! Sidney Crosby, then you come into the Boston Garden and you score your first goal in the NHL. Good job, nice play. Wrap around, eh? Didn't know if that would be your first one. All right, buddy. That's awesome. There will be highlights and heartbreak, but there's hope on the horizon. All right, let's focus here. With this young team, the most important thing is progress. Come on, boys. Support. Hit by 
by Dickinson. Oh, and a gut that is hit from behind by Beecher. Hey. And the gloves come off between Dickinson and Beecher, and the linesmen jump in. Boys, talk, it helps so much. Hopefully he's okay. Bedard taking himself a while to get back to his feet. And then the across the cross to Dostanoff. He scores on the feed from Marchand. The fans got their money's worth here tonight. They saw the first career goal for Bedard and a Bruins victory 3 1 over the Blackhawks. I think we, we kind of made people aware that we were a hardworking team last year. Now we're going to demand a little more execution. We're going to be a better team this year. So playing these tough challenges early, that's a good test for us. Growth, I think, is a big thing each day that's important. Any day, win or loss, you got to take your mistakes and build from them. With these losses, like the last game, we got to take more, I think, and there's more to, to build on. Despite being just three games into their NHL career, Connor Bedard and Kevin Korchinski are having a ring ceremony of their own. They have, like, stats in their own. Last year, the duo helped Canada win the 2023 World Junior Championship, and a trip to Toronto gave them the opportunity to pick up their hardware. Way bigger than when I was shooting. Yeah, I know. They got bigger over the years. That's really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you, Ernst. Yeah, you bet. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Congrats, guys. Development doesn't just go for a teenager in the NHL. There's a lot of young players, older players that are always learning. They're always getting better. Even the veteran players, there's room for improvement, there's room for growth, there's room for development. It's up to, you know, the coaching staff and, and the staff around the players to help them improve every day. I feel very confident in the staff we have here to, to help them along that growth. It's Corey Perry on wall. He scores! This year we want to take the next step. Uh, a little bit more consistency on our on-ice product. We're going to demand a little more execution. We just try to give them as coaches a little direction. Just keep taking it day by day and build one brick at a time.